Well, once a nurse graduates from medical school, their education is far from over. Fortunately, AgriSafe is launching online continuing education this September to give rural nurses ag-specific training. Joining us now for a further look is AgriSafe Executive Director Natalie Roy. Natalie, thanks for joining us once again. We appreciate your time. So why is AgriSafe so dedicated to training rural nurses? Well, Janet, Agrisay was actually formed in 2003 by rural nurses who came together and decided that they could serve the health care needs of farmers and ranchers by bonding together and forming a national nonprofit, and that's exactly what they did. And so today, Agrisafe is a leader in distance education for nurses and other health professionals across the country. So why did Agrisafe uh, take on this challenge and develop this nurse scholar program? Well, the Nurse Scholar Program made sense to us because we were the leader in distance education and also recognizing that we had access to experts across the country who could train on a variety of topics from things like zoonotic diseases to respiratory health. So it made sense to, to develop this Nurse Scholar Program. And we, by doing so, what we're able to do is provide distance education, 18 credit hours of education that nurses learn either live on the live webinars or on demand in their own time. Last year, we did, when we did this, we trained nurses from coast to coast. We had nurses come from places like Smithsonian Zoo and Monsanto and other entities. Um, so it's important to us that we get this training in the hands of those nurses because they're the champions in rural America. They're the ones that are there providing public health, responding when there's flood threats and health recovery. And so we want to make sure that we equip those nurses with the tools they need to be successful. So the Nurse Scholar Program made sense in that way. Now, what about the communities and businesses in these communities? What can they do to support these nurses and the programs? Well, businesses are really vital to the support of this. So if you, if you are a business in a rural community and you have a nurse, especially a nurse who might be a farmer, go ahead and sponsor them to attend this training. Because if they attend this distance training, they come back when they're done with that training, they can be, be the voice in the community. So we're looking for sponsors for these nurses. We're very fortunate because CHS, which, which is a farmer-owned cooperative, is the sponsor of this program. But certainly we want to look at other organizations for example, your local Farm Bureau might be an entity that might fund nurses to attend this training. So tell us more about the Scholar Program. Who actually is eligible to participate and when does everything start? Sure, sure. Well, it's gearing up here real soon. So registration is through the end of August. Um, and September 3rd is when we're going to kick off our first webinar training. And again, we've got experts from across the country teaching a variety of topics. So it's not too late to go ahead and register. If you go to our website, you're going to find a host of information on how to make that happen. Also, our learning lab, which is the AgriSafe Learning Lab, is where you're going to go ahead and find all the course information. So if you want to check it out ahead of time and see what the nurses are learning, just head to the AgriSafe Learning Lab. All right. Thank you very much for joining us once again. AgriSafe Executive Director Natalie Roy joining us from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau.